Hi, Carolyn. Thank you hey, so much. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Thank you so much for uh, your support. We're so fortunate to have you as one of our facilitators for the Passion for Entrepreneurship Workshop at the She Brilliance Conference coming up later this month. So how are you going? And tell us a little bit about your Carrie K um, journey that, that many people mm -hmm. are very you know, inspired by your success. Thank you. Well, I'm so excited to be part of this group. I think that what is so un unusual and commendable about um, She Brilliance is, well, it supports a cause that is very close to my heart, which is uh, Daughters of Tomorrow. And um, Carrie Kay is very, very focused on supporting other women and especially um, women that are on their own and, you know, single moms. Um, and I wanted to share my not just my successes, but my failures, because ultimately those are those are lessons and everyone can gain from them. Um, well, this is my second life. Carrie Kay actually is a second chapter in my in my life. I used to be a, um, a head of an advertising agency in Singapore. And in 2009, I stumbled on my new passion, which is jewelry. Um, and it was a bit of an accident. It's not something that I had intended to do, um, but I realized that I had a passion for storytelling as well as crafting beautiful jewelry. And I combined the two. So Kerry Key started. What a meaningful story. Now we know that, I mean, even as an entrepreneur myself, we know that resourcefulness is so vital. So can you tell us a little bit why we must be resourceful as entrepreneurs? Well, if there's one thing um, I can guarantee, if you date the root of becoming an entrepreneur, um, you're going to be solving a lot of challenges that come along the way. And um, one of the key things that has helped me a lot is looking at every challenge as an opportunity. Um, something to prod your idea or your plan to make sure that's more robust because that's guaranteed. You're gonna have things that you don't expect to happen. I mean, look at COVID. Um, and it's gonna test you and it might even make your idea or your business or your team stronger. Um, so in the case of Carrie K, we're really, really fortunate because we're about just over 10 years old. Um, it's taken me that long to build a really strong team. And um, this challenge with a whole new paradigm that has been caused by COVID has really got us to interrogate our purpose. You know, why does anybody need jewelry? Um, and we found out that actually people see jewelry as something that's very important and meaningful for milestones, whether it's engagements, births, or birthdays, anniversaries. In times like these, we celebrate that more and that becomes very meaningful. Um, so we, we kind of pivoted our business and it helped us make it more robust. I, I love I love what you said, you know, jewelry trigger font memories or like you say, milestones, you know, mm -hmm. stones if you have diamonds especially. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of diamonds. <laughs> so uh, and and I think it's so valuable because it can be the smallest thing, right? But it triggers the biggest fondness of a point in time where we can remind ourselves that we were strong. Uh, that we, we are really celebrating that moment because of what we have achieved in life or particular junction at that point in time. So now mm -hmm. I know that you, I know you talk a lot about you know that vision. It takes it takes you have taken ten years, uh, you know, um, for you to build the right team and, and so forth. So what other attributes will build success? Well. Um... I can tell you that you absolutely need tenacity. It's it's really a marathon if you're gonna run your own business. Um, there will be days where you're sitting there thinking, you know, why am I doing this? It was so much easier when I had a you know regular paying job. But if you want to get into this, then you have to know that you're doing something you believe in. It's gonna be a long run. It's not gonna be a short sprint. So you have to pace yourself and you have to be absolutely tenacious and resilient. So you, what's helped me is I've built, you know, a, a network of people as well as um, tools that have helped me bounce back. Uh, absolutely important are people. I think that's probably the most important to have 
not just your family and friends that support you, but a team of people that share your purpose, the purpose of your business, as well as the values that your, um, you know, your company uh, really wants to live and breathe. Mm. And once you find those individuals that share that, you know, you can really achieve anything. Yeah, that that is such sound advice because you know people, you know, we can't do it all alone. And mm. we need that social interactions, right? To to thrive, absolutely. To do better work because you know we can be our own worst enemy at times. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, well, that's why she brilliance is amazing because you know if you're starting out now and you haven't got a network, you don't know where to start. The whole point of us coming together is to really tap on each other, our learnings, our successes, our failures, and for you to build that community and that network. So the other thing that was really important to me when I first started is, I I thought, oh, I don't really want to trouble people. I don't want to ask for help. I don't want to reach out, and I felt very shy about it. And I realized that I I couldn't if I wanted to survive. I needed to be really thick skin, and I needed to reach out and ask for help. But what I did was I promised that I would give back. So there's this you know flow of you know asking for help, but at the same time helping those that I was in a position to. And that was from day one, and that really, really then released me. And I was like, okay, okay, I'm gonna really, really thick skin. I can ask for help because I know I will give back. Um, so that was to me, you know, the way I started building my connections, asking for help, and learning from people. And people are really generous if they know what you are passionate about and what your your purpose is and what they can do to help you. They will. And I think that's that's one of the key things to look at she brilliance、um, and to come in prepared to be really thick skin and say, hey, this is this is me, this is what I want, and I need help here. What can I? How, how do I start? Yeah, that that is a great encouragement because I find that, like you said, asking for help is so difficult. I think provided、mm-hmm. that you know whoever that's asking for help is also open to. Getting no as an answer because you might get the first no, but after a few times you get a you, you might get your yeses, right? So that will come、Absolutely. to what you try to do. But I think it also that journey of、uh, you know so called rejection also built confidence <laughs> in the end and、yes. help us shape our narrative towards that that success. So, Carolyn, tell us one if you knowing what you know now、um, and looking at your ten year journey. What was the one challenge that you did not expect, and you wish you knew at the very start?、Um, I think if I had would was to do this differently, I would probably have gotten paid to learn、um, rather than pay for my mistakes. So, I mean, if you have the if you have the、um, opportunity to. Like, To, for me, it would have been to work in a company that was in that same industry.、Um, a couple of things, you know, just to get some sort of foundation, make the connections, and understand the framework. Because、um, going from advertising straight to jewelry, it really took a solid three years just to understand the lay of the land.、Mm. Uh, and and you know, even though I had joined associations and I was talking to people. Um, it was still three years before I had any idea about anything,、uh, and I was starting very, very small, and I could build it up that way. So, if you have the opportunity to work,、um, even if it's in a very, very junior position in the industry, it gives you a footing.、Um, if you can't, then definitely build your Rolodex or your, you know, little black book of contacts、um, and talk to people who are in the industry. And find out as much as you can, because I think what I didn't do at the beginning was research, and I spent the first three years researching whilst I was running the business. <laughs> Not such a good idea. Oh,、um, wow. and I learned、wow. a lot. Yeah. yeah, you were saying that you know prior to starting your own company, you were MD for an advertising agency that is well renowned, and you took the leap of faith into entrepreneurship, right? So obviously、mm-hmm. there would be some some time where you will. You know, you may have gone through imposter syndrome or, you know, some reality checks and so forth. So, how did you encourage yourself、uh, to make sure that you can stay true to what your your leap of faith was all about?、Mm. Well,、um, I think it's、uh, finding the small wins. 
Um, when I first started, I had this, you know, I had delusions of grandeur. I was like, I'm going to be like this by when, and you know, international brand and all that kind of thing. Um, so things will take at least two to three times longer than you think. It will cost you 10 times more than you budgeted it for. Just know that, um, you know, it, it will take a lot of wins before you feel like, okay, I can breathe now. So, you know, look for the small um, progress rather than the big ones. And I mean, in the last 10 years, we, Carrie K has had amazing milestones. Um, by, I think we were very, very fortunate because by year two, uh, Carrie K won Designer of the Year as an award and that catapulted wow. us. Yeah, and then after that, we got picked up by um, a gentleman called Yuji Yamamoto, who's the son of Yoji Yamamoto, the very famous fashion designer, and he brought us to Japan. Um, and in 2016, we were uh, approached by, by Disney to collaborate. So there were a lot of those wins along the way. Um, but you know what? In 2017, despite being approached by Disney and working with Singapore Airlines, we completely changed our business model because we knew that at that time, from 2009 until 2017, we were very focused on um, accessories, silver, accessory price, low price points. But we knew that that market was going to be super competitive. And we made a very painful decision to throw out all the work that we've done in that category for the first seven, eight years and reinvent and start looking at fine jewelry and you know the very, very important milestone jewelry, um, engagement rings, wedding jewelry, uh, anniversary presents. And thankfully we did because during COVID, ironically, people were not spending money in the disposable accessory side, even though it was cheaper. They were like, pulling together and finding more precious occasions um, to really put something valuable in and mark important occasions. I think because people were thinking, what's important in my life? My family, I'm going to put money and really celebrate someone's birthday or anniversary or push present. And that really helped us because that gave us a avenue, a new you know, breath of life. And that's become our fastest growing area. So, you know, Having those, um, well, number one, the, the ability to chop and change is very important. You can't stick to something because the world changes, so you have to change with it. And being adaptable, having your ear on the ground, and you know, really listening to your team is very important. So my team were telling me, you know, they're not going for this; they're going for this other thing, and we move very quickly. And that's something that's uh, important, I think, to be able to be adaptable. Amazing, amazing encouragement and advice. Thank you so much because we are not going to tell everything because nobody will come to the conference. <laughs> we want them to come to support us on Friday the 29th of October at Marina Bay Sands because tickets are still available for, for, for sale on the SheBrilliance.org website. So Karen, we cannot wait to see you in person. And uh, once again, thank you so much for your support. Excited.